when there's a storm in your life, when there's a storm around you, do you get worried or do you sleep with Jesus? Salve Maria! In today's Gospel, our Lord is sleeping in the boat and a storm starts. The apostles get all worried. The water, as the water starts to fill the boat, our Lord continues sleeping because He was so tired. Imagine our Lord sleeping on a tiny little boat and it gets worse, the situation gets worse and they get so worried that they decide to wake up our Lord. And they said, Lord, help us! We are perishing. And our Lord gets up, majestic, noble, divine. He lifts up his hand and he commands the storm. And there's a great calm. And he says, Why were you worried, O men of little faith? The first reading today also speaks of faith. Faith. If we had faith, we'd be like St. Therese. St. Therese of the Child Jesus, she said, if she was in that situation and our Lord was sleeping in the middle of the storm, she would think to herself, if he is sleeping, nothing will happen to me. I will put myself to sleep at the side of him because with him, nothing can happen to me. When we have troubles in our life, the devil always tries to take away our serenity, to take away our calm, our peace of soul. We should do the opposite. We should be calm. God is looking after us always. No hair will fall from our heads without his permission. So if you have a storm in your life, don't get agitated. Put your pillow at the side of our Lord and go to sleep with him. Go to sleep with him not away from him, but with him. Go away from your trouble. Hang on to him. Hang on to Our Lady and everything will go well. It always go well, goes well when you are in the hands of our Lord and Our Lady. In today's world, the church too seems to be going through a difficult time. But our Lord is in this boat. This boat belongs to our Lord. The church is the boat of Peter. It is the boat of our Lord. And if he appears to be sleeping in it, it's because this storm will only serve to glorify the church. As long as we are with him, as long as we are with grace, we will be the ones who will triumph because he will triumph. All the rest will pass. Today's liturgy invites us to have this peace of soul always in relation to ourselves, in relation to everything that's happening around us. May God help you to always maintain this peace of soul. Pray for me that I too may be always like this and I will pray for you and your family. May God bless you. And may His blessing, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come upon you and your families and remain forever. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.